I'm here with the gorgeous Lawson voice. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Now, you love Glasgow because you perform at a lot of these cloud events, don't you? Mm. We do. We've been here uh, we were not too long ago, wasn't it, in the summer? And uh, we always love a Scottish audience. It's just, it's just wild. It's yeah, great fun. Yeah, this venue as well. It's amazing. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's a really good crowd. And a fantastic year for you. What have been some of the highlights? I think releasing the album, Chapman Square, that was a big moment for us. We've been together such a long time that to, to finally have an album out and then for it to go top five, we were, we were delighted. It's fantastic. Well, and you've amassed quite a lot of celebrity fans because I'm hearing that Taylor Swift was loving you guys at the Jingle Bell Ball. Yeah, that's crazy. It's a really surreal moment we had, yeah. We played at the O2 Arena and we came off stage and um, we just we were chatting to the uh, couple of the One Direction lads, just wishing them good luck to go on. And then just from behind the sort of like crowd, Taylor Swift just came over and said, oh, hey guys, I'm Taylor, I just wanted to say I'm a massive fan of you guys, and I love your song, Standing in the Dark, I think it's brilliant, can't wait for you to release it in America, and we were all just like, <laughs> <laughs> Are you yeah, worried that Harry Styles is going to come after you now? No, <laughs> no, it, it wasn't like that, literally, it was just like, really, she's really nice, and you know, she said she'd watched all our YouTube videos and making the album and stuff like that, and we were like, that is just surreal, because we're all big fans of her, yeah, you know, we yeah. love country music and the whole American country scene, yeah. like Lady Antebell and Rascal Flatts and that as well, so it was an honour, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. Gloriana, yeah, like, yeah, so some of those bands and Keith Urban, yeah, so. It's fantastic. And so are there plans to crack America next year? Is that what you'd like to do? Definitely, yeah, we're actually, uh, we're going over there, <laughs> we're going over there uh, in January. We've got a show in LA, first headline show, show in New York, and also in uh, Toronto, in Canada, so, yeah, we're actually... We're going over there, we're going to cross the pond trying to see what happens. And obviously you've seen One Direction crack, like play Madison Square Garden and stuff it's crazy. like that. Is that inspirational for you? It's absolutely madness. Gig, isn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, no. really? Barry Ball, we're starting a Barry Ball. <laughs> no, you know what, some, like, what, what all the British artists are doing in America is, like, is amazing. Like, I think like Mumford and Sons, like, yeah. you know, their album's are amazing. Ed Sheeran, the script, you know, so they really like playing bands over there, I feel, as well, yeah. which is great for us because obviously we're you know, sort of a, a bit rockier and, you know, a bit more Maroon 5 sort of vibe yeah. to us. So hopefully, you know, I think it'll go down great. And we just can't wait to do some shows over there, you know, some headline gigs. And, yeah, we start in New York on the 24th of Jan, so it's going to be great. Brilliant. Have you got time off over Christmas? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of winding down a bit now. We've got a couple more gigs and then uh, and then that's it. Yeah, I get to go and see our families back home. So very excited. Thank you, Bill. Thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing how you guys do next awesome. year. It's been Thank lovely you. to Thank chat you. to you.